the unit tests are a very important feature for software quality. Based on that, we could verify if the functionalities of a software are working as expected. We could verify if, based in a certain input, we have the desired output. And when we have the software that was written with unit tests for its major features, we could later on always run the regressive tests with run the unit tests for the ruling system. And to perform that, usually we adopt specialized tools that exist in these purposes. And each technology has its own set of technologies, libraries that exist in this purpose. So, in case of Node.js, we have this Jest library that's one example of a tool that assists us in the unit tests written. Okay, so in this video, we are going to take a look how to use that integrated in your Node.js project and how to run tests based on that. So, let's see how it works. Let's begin building one very simple example following the tutorial that the own yet web page provide to us. So we are going to create one Node.js project from zero and then add the JS and then use that for a very simple use case. So first of all, we need to create the node project. It's not defined here. We need to use the anypen init statement for that works. So I have here one empty folder opened in my Visual Studio code and I have to open a new terminal to then execute here the statements to create the project and then add the Jest library. So first of all, just type npm init to start a new project. It will ask a several information here, okay? Let's just use the default values, okay? The file name, the file version, description, endpoint, test command. Later on, we are going to change that. Git repository, keywords, author, license. It's okay, yes. So now we have here our our project created. All right, we have this package JSON created automatically. And later on, we are going to edit this information here to work with Jest. But for a while, it's okay. Um, as it is now. Let's return to the page tutorial. Now it suggests to install the Jest library, so package. So let's copy that and let's copy that in our console and then install this library. Just wait a few moments and probably this file here will be updated with a new dependence I'll, copy the, I'll close that just for have no written conflict. Now waiting these dependencies download. Okay, it's going to take a while. You can follow the, the loading progress here. It's almost finished. Okay, it's done. You can see everything uh, runs as expected. We have a lot of dependencies installed based in this statement here. And if you open here, now the, the package JSON, you see a new dependence here. Now our project is prepared to run the use case using this library. Following the tutorial, we have then to create one sun.js file with this content. So let's just copy that, go to your Visual Studio Code, Create here one file named sun.js and here paste the code. Right. More than that, let's continue with the tutorial. Now we have to create a second file, the same name but with the dot test at the end with this code here. So first let's create the file with this name. Okay, you just paste that here. Now you take the code. And before executing, let's analyze the code. Okay, copy that inside. What did it do? It takes the, the file, 
Node.js includes that, and the sample function is recognized. And then we have this test function and this expect function that comes from Jest. So it knows what's going to be tested and what's based in a certain function, what's the expected output. So it, that's the base of a unit test. You give the desired inputs and the desired outputs and it compares if it works or not. Theoretically, it's simple, but then it runs everything automatically uh, and for thousand tests together. So it's very, very interesting. But before running that, it's missing one part. Do you remember? I have presented to you package.json and here we have to change one step. We need to say we are going to test that using Jest. So the last point of the script here, we just need to update this part of package.json to use Jest library. So we just change that here. And now we are going to be able to test that. How test your project in a proper way? Basically, I have created my project with npm in it, so I'm using npm in my project. And then I have them just type here test. Just type in test, it knows it has to test it based in this library. And then here we are going to have a very interesting output. Do you see this here? We have just one test to, to be processed, and then it has executed and has verified the sum function works properly. So it was basically just the relo word example, very simple. But now we are going to perform one more complex example based in when MySQL connection verifying if it returns the desired output. For running the MySQL use case using Jest, I have prepared the source code here to you. The link to the source code is available here in the video description. So you could download that and execute it on our computer, but it's not very complex. Basically, we have to um, import the MySQL package. So we need to use npm install MySQL and then it will be OK. Um, here we have the credentials to connect in the MySQL database. Then it creates the connection. And then here we have a functionality that will perform one selection in this table and you do something with this output. The something is parameterized with a callback function that is going to execute the functionality I have parameterized with the output that that database provides to us. Basically that. So we have a very simple model here, okay? Basically just define the connection inputs and then we have a find out function that will perform the select in this table and then it's parameterized according with what I would like to do. But now how to test? So following the same procedure we have done to the sum example we have previously defined, we have here one, one file with my model definitions and then another file with the same name dot test at the end following the same, the same procedure we have done for sum. And here inside we perform the tests inside the find all functionality. So I will call the find all method that I have imported from my own data source. And then here I'm using the, the same keywords we have done for the sum procedure. Let's perform a comparison. The sum, the test keyword to inform to Jest, we have a new test to be performed. And then the expected function and the to be function to compose what is the inputs and what is the desired outputs. So executing that for MySQL, it says oh, you are going to test, find all, call the find all functionality. It's going to, in the callback function, take all records that returns. And we expect that if the connection is working, we have more than one record that ha has returned. Otherwise, it has not worked. Okay. so. Now, we, when we run the NPM test, it's going to look in the whole project where is the, um, the test that they have to execute. It looks for all files that has this test in the end, looks for all files that has this test method, and then run all together. So if here we just type NPM test, we then are going to run over all tests we have defined. It means the two tests, the sum.test and the mysql data source.test, both 
has executed and both has passed. So it's a very simple project with two scenarios, but then we could create more methods and have them executed together when you use NPM test. So it's a very uh, efficient tool to provide unit tests using the Node.js technology. Now you have seen a few examples about the Jest library usage. You could, if you want, try by yourself. You could try that, even using a new project or even introducing that to a project you already maintains. You could take the example of the source code by GitHub, the link is below in the description, and in case you have some another topic or suggestion of subjects to be to be addressed regarding this demo, please just write down at the comments. Thank you for watching and see you next time.